So, this is how the EVAP system works. You have your gas cap, which is right here, and this is the little tube running from the gas cap to the fuel tank, which is this box. In the fuel tank, you have a fuel pump and a fuel line that runs to your engine. That's the main fuel source. Now, there's a large black box that in many cases is connected right next to your fuel tank. Um, in the case of my dad's truck, it's literally strapped onto it. And this black box is called the charcoal canister. Um, some people also call it the vent canister or the vapor canister. It has different names, but basically it's always a canister and within it is charcoal. It connects by a hose from it to the fuel tank. Okay, now from the charcoal canister has charcoal in it and charcoal um, is an attractant for hydrocarbons. Fuel, gasoline fuel for a vehicle is hydrocarbons. So hydrocarbons stick to the charcoal. The charcoal is very porous. The hydrocarbons enter the charcoal and they don't leave. So it basically filters out hydrocarbons from the oxygen in the tank or from air. Okay, next to, next to it, there's a little line connecting it, another hose, connecting it to the canister vent solenoid. Also could be called the charcoal canister vent solenoid. It's a vent, solenoid means motor, so it's a motorized vent. Electronically, it can be turned on and off. Okay. Um, the vent allows air to come into the EVAP system or exit the EVAP system. So, for example, if you pour gas in your gas cap, you remove the gas cap, you pour gas down, the gas enters the fuel tank, where is all the air going to go that's in the fuel tank as it's displaced by gas? Well, the air will go up and over into the charcoal canister, the hydrocarbons will get filtered out, and then the air will... the already filtered air will make its way up and through this hose through the vent solenoid and out into the environment but it won't have the dangerous hydrocarbon or gas fumes in it because that was already filtered out in the charcoal canister so the canister vent solenoid is always left open unless if the system is doing diagnostics which we haven't gotten into so it's open it's always open when you pour in fuel the air escapes through there after passing through the charcoal canister Next, you have another, the third line coming out of the charcoal canister goes up and into the canister purge solenoid, also could be called the charcoal canister purge solenoid valve. Um, it too is a valve that turns off and on by a solenoid, which means a motor that turns the valve open or closed. It, by default, is always closed. When the car is off, it's closed. Um, so that fumes when you, for example, pour fuel in the tank and the fumes exit into the charcoal canister, they're not going to come up through the purge solenoid valve, up into the engine, and escape through the engine, causing a gas smell in your engine that could start on fire or whatever. So no, that's kept closed, and the only way the fumes or air that's pre-filtered can escape the system is going out through the vent solenoid. So, this is always kept closed, except when you start the engine, the purge solenoid after the engine starts does open up allowing fumes to come through the solenoid into the engine to be burned. So basically all the hydrocarbons or fuel particles that were trapped in the charcoal get sucked through this line and into the engine and burned up. They're basically gasoline fuel um, vapor particles that get drawn up out of the charcoal canister through the purge solenoid into the engine. Now the engine creates a vacuum because it's constantly making explosions and shooting the exhaust of that explosions through the exhaust of your vehicle which blows out the back of the engine like that and that causes just a flow a vacuumous sucking flow that draws um, through the fuel the fuel line, the main fuel line, which is here in the fuel pump, draws through there, and it also draws through the charcoal canister any vapors that were caught in here earlier on. So it's drawing vapor and it's drawing liquid fuel 
into the engine all part of the explosion process. So that's how the charcoal canister gets cleaned out and doesn't get over clogged up with the, the vapors that it had filtered out while the vehicle is turned off. Now, that's when the car is running. When the car wants to test to make sure there are no leaks in any of these lines going anywhere or the fuel cap or the fuel tank that nothing is leaking, what it does is while the engine's running, it shuts off, for the first time, it shuts off the canister vent solenoid. It shuts it off. But the engine's still sucking fumes through here, creating a, t a strong vacuum force where it's drawing fumes but nothing's getting in. Then it shuts off the purge solenoid. So because this valve, the vent valve is off, and the purge solenoid valve is off, and the gas cap is on, there's no place for that vacuum to go if there's no leaks. So there's a little monitor inside the fuel tank called a fuel tank pressure sensor that the system computer will monitor and it will gauge to see if that vacuum holds. For a set amount of time it will wait. And if the vacuum remains the same, it knows that the entire EVAP system is completely airtight. But if there's a little leak in say this little hose, or let's say the canister vent solenoid didn't close completely, or the purge solenoid did not close completely, or there's a leak in this hose, or this hose, or the gas cap's not on all the way, then the vacuum will dissipate because air has a way to get out. And so the pressure will not remain the same, and so the system will detect, hey, there's a leak in the system. Now depending on the rate of the leak or the rate of loss of vacuum it will determine how large the leak is if it's a small leak it will give you a check engine code for a small leak if it's a medium leak it will give you a check engine code for a medium leak if it's a large leak it will give you a check engine code for a large leak the large leak check engine code i have memorized it's p0455 that's the leak i have i have a large leak in my dad's van somewhere and like i said it could be a leaking hose line, it could be a leaking fuel cap, it could be a busted fuel tank, it could be a non-shutting canister vent solenoid or purge solenoid valve, either one of those valves. Um, that There are many different potential causes for that leak and you have to troubleshoot it. Now, this is a, a classical diagram. If I scroll down, you can see what his van looks like. Here's his gas cap. It comes down and here's his gas tank. Uh, hold on. Okay, we've got some lag here. Here's the gas tank. Here's the charcoal canister, which we talked about earlier. Here's the vent solenoid valve. And you can see um, the charcoal canister connects by this hose to the fuel tank. This line coming out of the fuel tank wraps around and comes down. It's the main fuel line that has the fuel pump attached. Um, here's the vent solenoid that's connected to the charcoal canister. It's always on. This is where the air comes out, unless if it's doing diagnostics, in which case it would shut off. Okay, I labeled the lines here canister vent solenoid aka evap vent solenoid aka vent solenoid valve there are many different names and that's confusing so it's nice to have the different names charcoal canister also known as storage carbon canister also known as vapor storage canister see it's really confusing that it, nobody can make up their mind what to call these different things so when you're reading on forums and stuff it doesn't make sense unless you know what they're for and then the names all start making sense once you know what they actually mean Okay, here's the vapor canister purge solenoid valve. Um, and then finally, here's the engine. And I already explained how they all work, but I just wanted to show you what the diagram of my dad's truck looks like. So here it is zoomed out. You can see the engine. You can see the purge valve. You can see the vent valve, you can see the charcoal canister, you can see the fuel tank, you can see the gas cap and the stem or the, the pipe running from the gas cap to the fuel tank. I'm not sure what the name of that pipe is, but it's got a name. Okay, so I explained the state of the vents with the engine 
off. I stated that the vent valve while the engine is off is turned on to let fumes in and out after they're um, obviously filtered by the charcoal canister. The vapor canister purge solenoid valve is off by default. It's only turned on when the engine's drawing out the fumes from the charcoal canister to reuse them in the combustion process. Um, during the test to see if your EVAP system is sealed off, it first shuts off the canister vent solenoid. It allows a vacuum to form because it's still drawing fumes out so that forms a vacuum because it's sucking out through the purge solenoid using the engine. It's drawing vapors out of the charcoal canister creating a tight vacuum. Once the vacuum reaches a certain point it shuts off the vapor canister purge solenoid valve leaving a tight vacuum. Everything's off now technically no fumes should escape but if they are escaping through the gas cap or through a, a rotten out line or whatever then it will flag it. So that's a review of what happens there. Now, uh, for the diagnostics, we'll go over that next.